Hey guys, Joey here with Joe's RV Tech DIY. Today we're working on a 2021 Jayco Greyhawk uh, Class C 29MD motorhome. Um, the water heater itself wasn't working and it is a model number WH6GEA. Um, we did a process for elimination for our testing. We made sure that we had power coming in and, uh, to the board and power coming out of the board. Um, what we found though uh, was down here. So what you guys could do is just make sure that you have power going into the board in the top and then you follow it down here to where it says T-step, okay? On the right side, you wanna make sure you have power here, okay? If you have power there and then you don't have power at the end of the thermal cutoff, most likely this thermal cutoff is what's bad. So on this specific unit, the thermal cutoff is what ended up being bad. And this has been a pretty common occurrence with these new style Dometic water heaters. So you'll uh, wanna buy a couple and you know I'll post a link below in the video where you guys can buy them either from me or from another online competitor. Um, it's completely up to you. When you buy it from me, it supports my business and it helps me make more of these videos. But um, this is a pretty simple fix. And uh, one thing we wanna make sure we do is we wanna make sure that this burner tube is completely clear of any debris. So we always blow it out with air. Um, spiders love to get in here and build nests. And uh, also inside the main tube itself, they can build spider webs and everything. If you have a flame out situation here, it'll come up and touch this thermal fuse and it's done, it'll just trip. So every time I see these new ones, this thermal fuse is always really low on the left side and it's uh, not installed properly looked at. So it shouldn't be that close down into the burner tube like that. Um, when I got here, this whole piece here was bent down into it almost. So whoever installed it uh, did not know exactly what they were doing. And it probably came like that from the OEM manufacturer. So, but RV water heaters um, can be a little more advanced to work on for some people. But in this case, it's a simple DIY fix. If the thermal fuse or the thermal cutoff, as I like to call it, needs to be replaced, um, you know, make sure you check the burner and clear the tube. I like to blow it out with compressed air. So, but the first thing you want to do before ever working on these is turn the gas off and make sure it's off and make sure it's not hot so because if you like pop water you could burn yourself pretty bad so um there's a little bit of risk involved working on these things so i want you to keep that in mind um when you're working on it but if you have a water heater that's this new style dometic and you're having issues and it's brand new um one of the top things we're finding is this thermal cutoff fuse is bad. So if you're trying to save some money, um, you can replace that part yourself um, at your own risk and um, maybe you'll get lucky and that's your problem. So process of elimination, now you wanna follow the power, make sure you have power going into the board, okay? So you take this top connector off and then this orange wire right here, your power wire and then this purple looking wire goes down and hooks up to your actual thermostat itself now if this purple wire has power down here at the thermostat and it has power coming out on the other side of the thermostat behind the thermal cutoff then you know and you, you would take it off at this end then right here and if you don't have any power right here at this end you know that you uh, likely have a bad thermal cutoff fuse. So I hope this DIY video helps somebody out there. And until next time, if you haven't subscribed already, be sure to subscribe. And I'll keep making these videos to try to help you guys save some money. And if you're in need of a thermal cutoff fuse or any other RV parts below, um, we are launching World of RV Parts soon. And uh, you'll be able to get all your RV parts from us. So thanks for watching, safe travels. Till next time.